Welcome back to Universe. I'm Andrew, and in this video, I'm playing Dice Realms, the solo version. So the game comes as a two to four player game. This is a di game of building your dice. You get to change out those dice faces uh, using this little thing here. You can slide that in and pop the faces out and replace them with various other faces. You can see there's a tray here with a bunch of faces. These are like the basic ones. And I've also set up the game here with some additional options based on the rules from the solo rules. So this is a an unofficial slash official variant from the designer of the game. It's just not included in the game box, but this makes it into a co-op game for two to four players or a solo game. So the solo game is even still a little bit different from the co-op because there are special considerations. You're kind of like setting up for a two player co-op game, but not quite. So a few things are different there. Even then I have played this before a couple of times, but I was playing it wrong and I realized a mistake I made. So hopefully I do better this time. I'm going to try to walk through it and maybe make note of what is different in the solo co-op version and what is different, you know, based on the full competitive version. So first of all, this is the fate die. This is used in every game and this can affect, this does affect all the players. This is the invasion die. This is used in the co-op or solo mode. And in fact, in the solo mode, it actually is doubled. So whatever I roll will happen to me twice, which is a negative thing. They're all attacks. You can see they're all red dice faces and they're coming from these pillage and war tiles. So see pillage, it tells you what negative dice faces you can use and what other die face you should include in the game. But I'm using the recommended setups from the competitive game or the cooperative game. So I just set it up the way it said to do it rather than following these tiles. But for the competitive game, there's rules on how you can set up the game using which tiles or just whichever tiles you want. And again, tiles are matched up with the die faces. So dials are basically explanations of how the dice faces work. But anyway, this uh, invader die does have invader faces, pillager faces, and from the war tile here, it has the knight face as well. Oh, and a catapult face. So those are some of the negative things that will be happening to me. And I've started out with a white and black die, which is normal. As a solo player, I've also started with a gray die. And in the reserve over here, I have two more gray dice and two green dice. The green dice are just for getting points, but I'll probably want to build up some other resources and uh, capabilities first. And then this here is my tracker for gold, a little bit of a reminder of what's going on. And uh, I can only store one gold. If I spend that gold, I flip it over to the zero side. If I store any, I get to keep one of it and uh, flip it back over to this side. And then there's a tracker of how many upgrades I have available to spend. That's just because you might be saving up or building up upgrade that you can't use until the upgrade step of your turn. So you can mark how many you have and then how many you've spent as you go. I do get to start with the one gold. And I've also set up with extra, with VP chips, extra grain, and these misery tokens, which are minus two points. There are more in the game box, but depending on how many players you're using and what game mode you're using, you're going to set up a limited supply. So I'm setting up for a two player game, even though I'm playing solo because of just how the solo works. Like I said, it's kind of like you're more than one player, but not as many as two, but and that was the mistake I had made before when my sample games is I was setting this up for one player, which meant the game went way too fast because when any of these run out, that triggers the end of the game. So I want to look at this uh, game round overview real quick, just because it's so conveniently put on this tile. First step will be to roll dice, resolve winter if that face comes up on the fate die. You can do rerolls, one for free, and then if you have any extra rerolls, you can use those. Attacks resolve, which will be from this invader die for sure. And after that, I can take grain, collect points, and then spend gold that I have to buy more dice from the supply if I want them. After that, any upgrades that I've accumulated this turn, I can spend and then end the round, or if any of these has run out, end the game. So that is pretty much the basics of that, and we'll see how that plays out. But in the solo mode, I think in the co-op mode as well, depending on player count, but in the solo mode specifically, I get six free upgrades before play begins, which means among these three dice that are kind of my dice. So again, this is the fate die, the invader die. These are my dice. I get to change out the dice faces and put some upgrades on. So these are the basic upgrades available. These are the upgrades that are available during this game specifically. And you can see the solo co-op mode has these recommended setups. I'm playing the first one, labor division, very straightforward. There's some other recommended setups for co-op play. I just grabbed the first one. So let's look at what a basic upgrade would be. So here is one of the faces on my dice. Actually, every one of my starting dice has the same six faces on it, even though they're different colors. 
I can maybe keep track of which one I've upgraded more by I say, oh, I've been upgrading my black die, so I remember that, for example. But anyway, this is the pink basic upgrade face. There's more of them in this slot here. And then above it, there is this upgraded one. And you can see the difference there, which is that it has two dots instead of one. And then it has the two in the arrow, which means you get two upgrades instead of one. So if I wanted to use an upgrade to switch that out, that would cost one upgrade because I'm going from one dot up to two dots. Or if I already had the two dot version, it would cost me two upgrades to move up to the four dot version. There are no three dot pieces in the game as far as I could tell. And that phase would still give two upgrades, but it also give two gold. And two gold can be spent as one upgrade or there are some other uses of gold as well. So that's a straightforward way of how you would upgrade a face. Similarly, you could upgrade the green face, which is there up to, from here to here and then to here. Or you could skip the level two version and go straight to level four by spending three upgrades. Go from one to four. Four minus one is three. So each of these die faces has, you know, a, a matching progression column that you could focus on. However, if I want to use these, these are white, as you can see. And let's say maybe I didn't want to focus on gold. I don't want the orange face at all. When I go to upgrade it, I want to just remove that. I can do that and switch from orange. I could go from orange to the basic pink die face. That would cost one actually so and that would cost one because even though i'm going from one to one changing colors also costs one upgrade so the dots didn't change but the color did so you pay for that sideways swap as well and that applies to white so if i want to go none, none of these have white on them already so if i want to go to any of these that's going to cost an upgrade just for that side grade which means and these are all two dots so to go from any of these level one faces to one of these two dot faces, it's already gonna cost two upgrades, one for the dot increase and one for the color swap. So six upgrades, if I wanna switch from basic faces to these is actually more like three actual upgrades because every upgrade from here to here is gonna cost two. And I think I wanna do the same thing I did before, which is to use the hero because I know that the invader is gonna be attacking me a lot and the invader can ignore two attacks and since the invader is doubled in solo mode i would like to block those so i haven't played this game much very little in fact and as i said it was wrong but i feel like i don't need this here so this is a point that's all it is and it doesn't really help you doesn't protect you just i mean it's a point so it helps you win the game at the end but i'm going to remove all three of those starting faces and get three heroes and again i'm switching from one dot to two dots which costs one upgrade and i'm switching from green from green to white which costs another upgrade so each of these swaps is two of my six upgrades so that's all six upgrades done and that is what that die face looks like it just has two blocks and three points and maybe it makes sense to give up one point to get three points so if i do roll the hero not only will i be canceling out the invader but i'll be earning points and then hopefully my other dice can help carry me to more upgrades and so on. So with my six upgrades done, I can actually start the game. So I got my dice tray here and let's just see what we get. The so first thing would be to see if we got winter, which we didn't. We can take a look and see. So this is a fate die chart here. Winter, what I'd have to pay a grain for each of my dice. I did start with eight, so I could afford to pay three. A good harvest is what I got. So each grain face produce, produces one extra grain. And we could also get a bad harvest, innovation, which would be giving us upgrades, or a robber, which is considered an attack. And then for the invader, we got, oh, that is the catapult. So that is going to be an attack that makes us destroy one of our faces. And they get to ignore an attack, and they get four points. Now, luckily, I did roll the hero. So my hero can block that attack, and since the invader's doubled, it can block that attack again because I have two blocks from the hero. I don't know that I need two heroes though, and that's what I rolled. So I think I will use my one free reroll and uh, just reroll one of those heroes. See if I get something else. And I did get grain. So this is canceled. The attack part is they still get the four points as far as I know. And again, they would get that twice. So I'm going to give them eight points because of that happening twice. And that is a big chunk of points. So we are on a timer because when these run out, the game will end. But that is all the invader is doing to us this turn. 
my hero is going to give me three points. So I'm actually accelerating the end of the game. I get one upgrade, so I'll mark that right here. And I get two grain, but because of the good harvest, I actually get three grain, which I suppose is nice as well. And now all there is left to do this turn is to spend my one upgrade, which is not a lot, but it won't. I can't switch to a white die face because, again, that would cost two. But I could switch one of my basic dice to one of these slightly upgraded versions. And I could do one of these orange ones if I wanted to try to get some more money and try to buy another die, which I am tempted to do because I started with a lot of grain anyway. Or I could change one of my level one upgrades to a level two upgrade. I think I'm going to try to get another die. So I'm going to change out one of these orange faces to an upgraded orange for three gold instead of two and i had to switch orange for orange because again it would cost a, an extra upgrade to change colors and just like that i'm in round two so it's time to roll them up this time we got the robber on the fate die and that is an attack we have to lose one of our dice and we got the pillager which happens twice it would make us lose three grain we did not get a hero but i did get a tower, which does block one attack. So I think I'm actually not going to re-roll anything. I will let them take six grain. That is a lot of grain, actually. It's kind of risky. I'm going to block the robber attack. And you'll notice that the enemy stuff got other things going on. This is not my copy of the game. I just realized an error in assembly, which is that this is not the robber face. That is actually from the plague tile, and that is the lawlessness face. Minus one die, plus one upgrade. But we're not supposed to get an upgrade. The robber is actually supposed to look like that. So I would have liked the upgrade, but that is not really affecting my plan. So let me just fix that. And that's our new thing. So we're supposed to be losing a die. But I'm going to block that with the tower. I'm going to get one gold, which I don't need to track. I just need to know that for this round. The die is showing me. I do get one grain, so I will take that. I might be doing this out of order. Um, I already lost the grain from there, and I think I was in the middle of saying that the enemy, the AI, whatever you want to call it, the invader, doesn't get stuff except for points. So they don't care about this gold, they don't care about that grain, and they don't do any upgrades. So other than that, I've resolved the negative stuff, but then what I have is one upgrade, three gold, plus one gold, and the grain I already got, plus I have one gold stored from the beginning of the game. Or I think I spent my upgrade, but now I have one back. Now, I have five gold available. I have four without spending the saved gold. I could save the, I could not spend the gold, but I wouldn't be able to save it. So I've got to spend it. And this tile actually shows me the options. So again, I could spend two gold for one upgrade. So if I wanted I, with my five gold, or I should spend four gold and buy two more upgrades, and then I have three upgrades this turn combined with this one that I rolled. I can spend one gold to re-roll a die. I can spend four gold to get a re-roll token. Oh no, sorry. The the one gold buys me a re-roll token. The four gold buys me a set a die token, which would allow me to choose a die face by spending that later on. Or I could spend three gold to repair a damaged face. So this like burst of damage symbol actually damages a die face and that would cause one of my die faces to be replaced by this, which is unfortunate, can't be used, I can't be upgraded or anything until it is repaired by paying three gold. Or what I can do also, which is what I'm going to do, is spend five gold and two grain to buy another die. So I'm, my grain is now dwindling, but I'm going to grab another die and that way I'll have something else to roll next round. I also have one upgrade still. I'm going to upgrade my white die again, and I'm going to change out this pink face for the two upgrade pink face. All right, so that's spent, and I think that's the end of the round. Time for the next round. Now I have an extra die to roll. So hopefully I can get more than one upgrade at a time, and I can start getting some of these. Well, those are the upgrades. I got three of those. I only have one block. This is actually not an attack, so that's nice. I got my, that's a plus grain, that's a tower, so I can block one attack, and the attack is the knight, which we'll, we're going to block one of those, ooh, but I guess we have to let the other one hit us, I could re-roll, you know what, there's no reason not to re-roll, so I'll re-roll one die, because we might roll the hero, and we didn't, so I have to lose one die from the knight attack, and they get two points, and this one's going to be unavailable, but otherwise we're going to get two upgrades, 
two grain because of that. Uh, the fate die gives us a plus, a good harvest. And I forgot this should have been spent. So I spent that last turn. So I should have zero gold in storage. But now I have one gold to spend this turn. So I could buy a reroll token or I could just save it. And I think I will save it. So I'm going to, again, you can only save one gold, but I'm going to save the one. I don't, maybe you don't, I don't care about the reroll token that much. I don't have a lot of great faces to get yet, but let's see. I have two upgrades, which means I can swap into one of these now. I'm going to try out the engineer, which uh, gives me two gold. And then I can turn, I can basically buy upgrades for one gold each this turn. So I'm going to pick up one of those and I'm going to put it on a die that is not the one I've been upgrading because I would like to roll it along with my three gold face. So I'd like to roll that at the same time. So I don't want to put it on the same die. So I'll put it on the new one that I bought and replace that green face that I still have. Still not in love with those. I will want points at some point. For now, I feel like I'm building up and that was my two upgrades. So let's do the next round. And there we go. Ooh, we got innovation on the fate die. So two extra upgrades. That's going to be nice. Our attack is minus four grain. If we can't block that, oh, they're going to get four points and cost us eight grain. But fortunately, we can block that with the hero. So they're just going to get their four points. They are racking up the points. We're going to have to stop that at some point. We get three points. Also, our die faces are worth points. So all these upgraded pips we're putting on our dice uh, do count for something. I could have re-rolled. I definitely don't want to re-roll my hero. I could try to get the engineer. Or on this one, I could try to get my three gold. But I think keeping these upgrades is nice. And uh, we might want to keep our grain. Now, you know what? We have enough grain to pay for winter. We'd have to pay four grain if we roll winter. And we can afford it. This might be risky, but I'm going to re-roll this die. And there's two more upgrades. So that paid off. I got our two upgrade face. So now I actually have six upgrades to spend. Now we might be playing with fire a little bit on the grain. So I am going to pick up a couple of plow teams. These are interesting because they give you two grain during the re-roll step. And then you re-roll the die. So you still get to use it uh, again for something else. So I'm going to put two of those on two different dice because you can't have more than one on the same die. I'm also going to put a blacksmith somewhere. That gives us three gold and an upgrade. And we would get to repair a damaged die if we have one. So again, each of those is going to cost two points because I'm going to be cross-grading and upgrading from the basic level. So I'm going to replace this two gold with the blacksmith. And on that same die, I'm going to replace the two grain with a plow team. And then what's my other most upgraded die? I guess that would just be this one. So I'm going to replace the two grain here. Yeah, with the uh, other plow team. The best chances of hitting a plow team and then re-rolling it into something else powerful. So that was all six upgrades. And we can roll up the next round. See if we ever hit winter. There it is. So I have four dice. I have to pay four grain and I'm down to two. So that is paying for the winter symbol that's come up. That's actually appears twice on the fate die. We just have been lucky enough not to roll it yet. They got the catapult, which is going to damage one of our dice actually twice. So I am going to want to re-roll and try to get a hero because I didn't get, oh, I did get a tower at least. All right, so the tower can block one, uh, but I am still going to re-roll one of these. Dang, I rolled the tower on one of my upgraded dice. So the and I rolled the engineer on my other, or the blacksmith on my other upgraded one. Although I wonder if we get damaged in the attack step, the blacksmith can repair it in the collect step, but does that mean the die, I missed the chance to generate the upgrade? So I still would have lost it for one turn. But yeah, I'm still gonna do one reroll, try to get a tower or a hero. And I just got grain, which I think I need. So I might let this upgrade get damaged. And so I think I won't get that upgrade. I'm not sure on that, but I'm not going to look it up. I'm just not going to get that upgrade. It's going to get damaged, but I'm not going to switch out the face because the blacksmith is going to immediately repair it afterward. I'll get this two grain plus one from my tower. So I go up to five, which is good. I blocked one of the two attacks, but that's that's why I'm not... Because again, the invader die is supposed to be doubled. So I only blocked one of them. They do will get eight points. Oh, that's uh, almost... 
emptying out this tray, signaling the game end is coming soon. There's only eight left in there. So if they take eight exactly, that does not end the game. But if anybody needs to take nine, or the ninth point comes out of there, that would end the game. Now I have one gold here plus three from here. I also have the one upgrade there with four gold. Actually, this is the fifth gold. Could buy another die. And I don't think I'm going to, but I may as well mention the green dice. So the green dice come preloaded with that on every single face. They're just a point no matter what. And if you upgrade their faces, you can only upgrade them with green faces. So they cannot go into any of the other colors. You just upgrade them for more and more points. So this is the two point face or the four point face. So if you just want to start making a lot of points, that's what you would do. So I could still just save this one gold. And then with this four, I could buy a set a die token, or I could buy two more upgrades and I would have three upgrades. I think I will spend all four gold on two more upgrades. So now I have three. And what do I want to get? You know what? I think I want to take this here and I'm going to take one off and change it from a one into a four. And that's going to be all three of the upgrades going from one dot up to four dots. I'm also going to spend my one gold to buy a reroll token. So I feel like the game is ending soon. I might need that in my pocket. And that is the end of that round. We'll again see if the game is ending. This time they're only going to be getting four points. So let's give them their points now. And they do have a lot of points. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat that because I only have six. But like I said, the dots do count. I haven't been keeping track. I will be blocking both of their attacks. So I don't have to lose any dice. And I'm going to grab three points from the hero. So we're not done this turn, but there's only one left. And then this is the bad harvest which means every grain face produces one less grain. However, for every two grain I want to spend, I can get a gold or I'm selling my grain for money. So I might want to do that, but I did get my new face that I just put on the die. And hopefully I'm putting everything on the camera because I can't actually see what is on there. I just have to hope that I'm in the right spot. I got another block and this two grain face, which is on a pretty much of unupgraded die. So I might not even want to re-roll that, but it would only give me one grain. You know, I could re-roll this tower. I don't need the defense. It's just going to give me one gold. So you know what? I'm going to use my free re-roll on this tower and uh, see what that comes up with. Very nice. Okay, so this is the plow team, which actually gives me one grain instead of two because of the bad harvest, but it immediately gets re-rolled because of that re-roll symbol. So I got one grain at least, and I got it again. So... I think it just keeps going. And then a one single upgrade face. Now I've got two, four, six, seven grain. This would give me an eighth grain. And then I could sell all of that for four gold. Plus the three gold I have on the dice would be seven gold or six gold. I could sell all of that gold for three upgrades. Plus the upgrades I have showing would be six upgrades. And it's extremely risky, but you know what? I'm going to do it. So I'm going to take one grain from that, from the bad harvest. And then I'm going to spend, or I'm going to sell grain two at a time for one gold each, which gives me four gold. I'm going to spend four gold for two upgrades. Plus this two gold will give me one more upgrade. Plus the three upgrades will bring me up to six because I want to buy a monument. So the monument is nine points plus the points that eight dots are worth because this upgrade face has eight dots on it, which means in order to go from a two dot white face to a eight dot white face, I have to spend six upgrades. And that's what I'm doing, which is a little bit of a bummer because I actually do need to give up. I have to replace a white face for that. And as you know, the white ones are the upgraded ones the ones i've been working so hard for but let's say we build a monument to our hero and i'm going to replace this hero with a monument and hopefully we don't roll winter again because i have i would not be able to pay and that would be very sad but most likely this will be the final round so i wanted to get a monument in did not roll winter i rolled a good harvest so that's nice we have this, which is the knight again. So they will get four more points 
And there's only one left here, so I owe them three more points. So we have to break out the extra bag of points, give them 10, and take seven back. But now we know the game is ending because we had to break out the 10. This will be the final round. Can I block those attacks? That's the question. Oh, so I did get this symbol. We got our plow team, so I'm going to get two grain and immediately re-roll that die. And I got it again. That's pretty nice. That's why you can only have one of those per face. And we did get the hero. So we can give ourselves a 10 and take seven back as we get those three points. I mean, we could just use that. It doesn't matter. But it's nice to have a 10. But I'm going to keep those. I'm not going to re-roll that because I want to block both those attacks. So what else? I do have one re-roll available and I have a re-roll token. But other than this four grain and the three points, I haven't really gotten anything. Oh, that should have been six grain because of the bonus, but I don't think that matters. So what's my strongest die? I mean, it was this one. No, this, this one's actually stronger. So I'm going to use my basic reroll on this die. And we just got the tower, which we don't really need. These two dice are not particularly good. In fact, we definitely do not want to roll the monument because it's worth a lot of points, but it doesn't do anything. So I'm going to spend my reroll token to reroll this again. So our final chance just got the tower again which means we have three gold and one upgrade we get another grain which turns into two more grain but i don't think that helps us yeah nope grain is no points so that's not not gonna help which means i really just have one upgrade or two upgrades rather i've got the one here from the tinker and then i've got three gold so i can save one that won't matter and spend two gold for a second upgrade and at this point, all it makes sense to do would be to upgrade two of our unupgraded faces. So I'm going to just change, spend one upgrade to go from a level one pink to a level two pink. And I'll spend one upgrade to go from a level one yellow to a level two yellow. Just because of what you'll see in a second as we now proceed to scoring. My gold doesn't matter. My grain doesn't matter. But my VP chips do and my die faces do. So this one's also mine. I'll take that. The invader, the fate die just goes back to fate, but the invader, and these weren't used at all. The invader scores their VP chips plus their die faces. And the way it works is that every face that has two dots on it is worth one point. Every face that has four dots on it is worth two points. And I think in the case of the monument, you just divide by two. So a face is worth half as many dots as it has in points. So the invader has, I think, six faces with two. Oh, no. So it has four faces with one dot, which is four points, and two faces with two dots. So that's two for each of those. That's a total of eight points on the die. Now, I will say I was playing at medium difficulty. You can also play easy or hard, and that changes the setup of that invader die. But I was playing with the medium setup, which means the die itself is worth eight points. So we've got 18, 21, 24, 27. 30, 32, 34, 36, 37, 38. So let's see what I can do. I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23, 27, 36. So I actually lost by two points. Gosh darn it. So I guess that's why maybe you don't always switch into the white faces. Um, because even if you don't roll them, the die faces are worth points. And every time you spend an upgrade to swap colors, you are giving up, I guess, like a half a point. But anyway, as you can see, it plays pretty quickly. The most timing, time consuming part might be to just put it back together at the end. And again, I was playing a recommended setup, but the game comes with a ton of different tiles and all these different faces that go with them. So definitely a fun, quick, cute game, but with a high price tag. So anyway, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Subscribe so we can get more subscribers and bye.